So here uh, the uh, Tivasi is going to be acting as a master and uh, the Arduino board is going to be acting as a slave and we have Arduino Uno and um, um, uh, first of all um, uh, let's uh, look into the code or uh, Arduino code where Arduino is going to be acting as a slave and uh, here in Arduino ID we have um, uh, y.begin and which has uh, y dot hatch library which uh, has, uh, in void setup we have uh, uh, y.begin and we have passed an argument that is 0x55 which is the address uh, for this slave device so the Arduino Uno is going to be the slave device and it has its address and we have a re receive event and uh, then we have serial begin and you can see in receive event uh, uh, we have um, uh, why not available it is like whether it is checking for whether the data is available in the i square c buffer and then um, uh, we have y dot read after uh, if it is an ava if it is available the data is pushed to x and that is being uh, again sent to serial uh, console so which can be seen on um, uh, using a serial monitor and Arduino id so we uh, this is a simple code so let's look into tivasi code and um, in tivasi code we have code composer studio where we are going to use uh, driver library um, of uh, that is tivaware and uh, we have certain header files to be included here that is we have uh, um, a standard bool.h int.h hardware types mem mem uh, mem uh, h and pin map.h system control.h and gpio.h and i2c.h these are the header files which are required and then uh, uh, to set up this project as usual you can uh, see my video on um, how to set up uh, ccs and uh, tivaware which is there in my channel i will provide you the same in the video description and um, once you have created the project you will have to add this lines of code and uh, you have a clock configuration and then which is going to be operating at uh, 40 megahertz uh, sorry here it's 50 megahertz and then uh, we have um, and to enable the i square c um, module we have a 4 i square c module that is i2c 0 1 2 3 and we are going to use i2c 0 um, and we have uh, first system control uh, sorry we have uh, system uh, control uh, uh, peripheral enable we are going to use i square c and then uh, i square c 0 that is i2c 0 is mapped to uh, gpio b and in gpio b you can see here uh, we have uh, SCL and SDA that is the data line the clock line for I2C and PB2 be, uh, will be acting as uh, I, uh, SCL and PB3 will be the SDA line so we will have to configure uh, I, the peripheral properly and these are the uh, configurations uh, to be done that is uh, starting from this line to this line and then here pin 2 is SCL and uh, pin 3 is going to be your SDA line and uh, here uh, we have to uh, this particular line says here we can see the comment here wait for the i2c module to be ready and then we'll have to initialize the master or slave so here we have an, uh, it is going to be the master uh, uh, that is tivasi is going to act as a master and then uh, we will have to uh, specify the slave address as we have seen in Arduino. Uh, the slave address is going to be uh, 0x55 that is like we have taken our custom uh, address and that is that is the address which is specified here in the argument so that um, um, Tivasi must, uh, is a master which can identify the slave device through this address and uh, now uh, we have a while loop uh, uh, where we are going to just send the data so this particular function that is master data port will be placing the data in the buffer the data which is placed here is A and then uh, we have uh, another function called master control where we have uh, i2c master underscore command that's a simple 32-bit uh, hexadecimal value which you can see here it is 0x0000003 uh, which is uh, uh, which when you configure in the uh, register particular register we have uh, burst send and uh, uh, send start and continue and we have given a delay and this uh, continues again and again that is the data will be play placed in the buffer and then it is pushed to the um, uh, i square c line data line and uh, the data will be received at the other end where we have the slave device that is Arduino board. Now, um, uh, in order to see this configuration, so how, how to check whether these uh, these are the proper pins or uh, for I2C 0, 1, 2, 3. For that, we'll have to get into the data sheet. In data sheet, you can see we have uh, inter integrated circuit and uh, uh, we, here you can see the features. It has uh, master transmit, receive, slave, uh, transmit and receive 
and uh, four transmission mode speeds 100 kbps uh, for 400 kbps 1 mbps and 3.3 mbps uh, and with uh, different modes that is high speed uh, fast mode plus all those things uh, these are the features of Fever C and uh, then uh, you can uh, see the pin configuration as we were discussing the signal description where we have a table which shows that i2c0 uh, uh, scl is connected to pin for number 47 and that is pv2 and then uh, i2c0 stm which is pv3 that uh, that is what we have discussed and if you are going to use any other line that is uh, um, i2c1 i2 i2c1 uh, i2c2 I, and i2c3 accordingly the line has to be selected that is pa6 pa7 um, and uh, p4 p5 or pd0 to p1 so we have four more different i square c module antiva so we, uh, this can be used so based on that i have configured uh, the pins here so i'm using i2c0 uh, so uh, I, I think i made you understand how i have selected these pins then we can upload the code here so we'll have to uh, click on run debug um, and then uh, the code gets uploaded so i have connected my board and my board is switched on and um, once the uh, board is switched on the code gets compiled and it will be uh, flashed to the board and now you'll have to click resume and uh, now the tvc is going to be acting as a master on the other end we have uh, Arduino board connector that is in comp29 and uh, that is Arduino uno now i'm going to upload code to Arduino uno board the code is uploaded now let's open the serial console and you can see uh, i square c data uh, we have uh, passed uh, like we have uh, uh, we are uh, sending a from master and it is being received and we'll have to properly configure the clock and delay so that we don't get some uh, garbage data such as this like uh, here and uh, this is how it works and um, uh, you can um, uh, interface uh, uh, TVRC with STM or uh, I square C or you can uh, make uh, the Modino uh, board as master and TVRC as slave all those can be configured uh, and you can accordingly work and uh, this is what I wanted to explain in this video we will meet in another video thank you thanks a lot